I want to talk about an article in the LA Times on April 21st. Civilian casualties from airstrikes grow in Iraq and Syria, but few are ever investigated. It was written by Molly Hennessy Fisk and W.J. Hennigan. Um, so I've been talking about this on the show, but this is significant in the sense that it was on the... <coughs> Bless you. Uh, it was on the cover of the Los Angeles Times, um, the Sunday edition, which, and on their online edition, obviously, which probably gets, uh, high. that's significant in the fact that when you go to latimes.com, it's the first story that's there. And it goes into detail of, of and, I, and I'll go into some of that, um, of how many people have died in the conflicting military reports. But I wonder now, are any of the TV outlets going to pick this story up and start talking about it? Because as I've said, the corporate media is not really going into this. They really don't want to show the video of this. They'll, they'll briefly cover it. Oh, there's an investigation and They'll just give it like a quick lip service. They won't show the gripping video like they did with the chemical weapons attacks. And this goes into, and I'll put the, the link is below and there's video clips of people in Missoul getting right because ISIS holds part of Missoul. They, so military talks about how precise these bombs are. And there's a guy like, oh, I lost... Uh, several family members, including his 11-month-old daughter. Can you imagine anyone out there if you lost an 11-month-old daughter or any child to a weapons, like an airstrike? Would how much would you want to like? Yeah, I want to do. That. I'm. I'm. I, I support. We we got to stop the bad guys. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If your next door neighbor was like running a criminal enterprise out of their house. And instead of just rounding them up and arresting them, they just shot a rocket and it killed one of your kids. Oh, and they got all the bad guys. Would you be like, yay, we got the bad guys. So I, I guess I applaud the LA Times. Um, you know, they're not perfect. And many times they seem like they're part of the kind of corporate media. But I applaud them for putting that story out there. And I'd like to see more journalists actually talk about this. It shouldn't just be me and, you know, Jimmy Dore and Kyle Kalinske and a couple others, you know. <laughs> it should, I mean, really? Just us on YouTube are covering this? So, and um, here's the, from the old man newspaper right there. The rising hidden airstrikes. This is a stack of bodies being put on a truck from a U.S. airstrike. Where's the video on that? Well, this is a, a, a gripping photo. The actual video footage would probably be a little more powerful. Um, and that's what this talks about. This talks about civilians killed in the Missoula airstrikes. Since my internet is down, we'll go old school. And it's at least 860 additional deaths based on two or more credible sources and confirmed strikes. At least 103 additional deaths confirmed strikes according to Air Wars. 60 deaths confirmed by the United States. So there's an 800 person death discrepancy between the United States military and independent sources. And as I've said before, let's just say the US military is 100% correct. 60 is too many. That's 60 too many civilian deaths. Don't give me this collateral damage acceptable loss bullshit unless it's your kid. Are the military generals that do this and everybody in the military industrial complex and all the oil companies that are fueling these goddamn wars, are you okay with just 60 of your relatives dying as opposed to 860? Because if you're okay with that, if you're okay with, hey, I've got a fam, I've got three kids and I'm okay with one of them dying, if you're okay with that, then yeah, let's keep doing the airstrikes. You tell me if you find that okay. You let me know. Email me. Put your post in the comments. Are any generals watching this? Just you know, how many kids you got? Three kids? Four kids? You got four kids? How about one dies and then one loses a limb? Is that, is that an acceptable loss for your family? 
Because I don't think I don't think it's an acceptable loss for the people in Iraq, who are just the victims of us, you know, using ISIS to get more oil. <laughs> Again, it's all about the goddamn oil. I talked about the the denial of the Armenian genocide by the United States and Israel. And again, it's all about the oil. It always comes back to that. And this country using the CIA and whatever else justification, we need the Middle East to be unstable. So just pepper some airstrikes in there and turn it into rubble and, oh, create unrest. Because if they got to have a democratically elected government, they might wake up and go, yeah, the whole, a big part of this I'm starting to learn is a lot of these countries don't want to use the dollar anymore, right? And Libya and some other countries tried to start their own, they get away from OPEC because OPEC is the Saudis and that's us. So that's what's going on. That's why um, somewhere between 60 and 861 civilian deaths is permissible. And it's for justice and freedom and keeping us safe from the big bad terrorists that we're actually creating. Because I don't know about you, if any of my family got killed from some airstrikes or some shit like that, I'd join, I'd join a resistance organization of, without a doubt. And I'm sure you would too. I applaud the LA Times for talking about this story. And maybe they're, you know... The fact that they're like, well, maybe they're still going soft on like, well, I don't know. The U.S. Army says this number, but there's this number. Who knows? Why don't they just go, the U.S. Army's lying. The U.S. Army's lying. <laughs> I don't know that they're going to do that. So keep supporting independent media, you guys. I just changed the $10 Patreon tier. Before, for $10 every month on Patreon, you'd get one bonus video and your name mentioned in the credits. I just started making that, you're gonna get a bonus video every week and I just released another video. So I'm gonna release a bonus video every week and that's for the $10 level. So the link is below, the link to this article is below and also if you ever do any shopping, you need to buy something on Amazon, the, my Amazon referral link is below. That's the way and then like and subscribe and I see a lot of you sharing this on social media and thank you so much. That's a free way for you to support the show and get the word out on stuff because I have so many friends of mine that are like, I was just playing volleyball with a bunch of friends of mine, a bunch of comics. One of them's a pretty well-known guy and he was like, you know, Rachel Maddow's doing an okay. I was like, dude, really? She makes $7 million a year. And then he says, yeah, I know. And they're owned by GE, which makes weapons of mass destruction. I said, yeah, so how can you take what she's saying for real? And he goes, yeah, it's a good point. So we all, I, I, my whole thing is to get the left to wake up. Get your friends and family on the left that are like still think that Rachel Maddow and the Democratic Party are going to do the right thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. My name's Graham Elwood. Stay vigilant.